Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. To all my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the comments, for all the encouragement, for all the shares. Thank you. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, this is an opportunity for you to do that. Hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post new content. Here we post about healthy living, nutrition facts, healthy food recipes and lifestyle in general. So in today's video, I'm really excited. Today's video is about a vlog. And I remember posting a question on Instagram recently and I asked people, okay, what kind of content do you want me to post next? And majority actually picked vlog and some people were talking about food recipes. So I decided to make this video today. So I had an experience about a month ago and I visited the Swedish Air Force Museum. Yes, so today's vlog is about my visit to the Air Force Museum. Air Force Museum is also known as Fliegvor Pen Museum and it is located just outside of Le Shopping in Sweden. Now the Swedish Air Force Museum is so beautiful and big and it is a modern technical and I would say cultural history museum with exhibitions um, that trace back to the development of military aviation back to the 20th century so you can you would agree with me that this place is really really a tourist attraction now it's located just outside of Lee shopping like i said and the museum has been in existence since uh, 1984 such a long time the funny thing about this vlog is this vlog was not planned like we didn't plan to visit the museum we had an appointment for that day and it had to be rescheduled so i just decided like okay i've been hearing about the swedish air force museum let's just go there because i love airplanes i just love aviation in general and then we decided to visit the swedish air force museum an interesting fact about the swedish air force museum is that it has a knowledge center um, that has a library, a very big library and archives um, that contains a lot of um, pictures, photographs, a lot of plans, a lot of information about the military aviation. And it's, it's really a very good place for you to learn about history. Okay. Um, it should also be noted that the, um, the country Sweden hasn't been to war in about 400 years. That is amazing. Like they haven't been to war in about 400 years. So the Swedish Air Force Museum has a lot, a whole lot of information and knowledge about the past wars that has happened before. And it contains more than 360 aircrafts and missiles in that museum. Yes. In fact, it also contains the popular Boeing 707 aircraft, the only one in the world. It is actually found in this Swedish museum. Okay. Let's go straight into the vlog so that I'm going to show you everything. The experience was amazing. I loved learning. I loved the, the process. I loved, in fact, everything there was just beautiful. So let's go straight into the So this is the, the entrance vlog. of the part of the museum that will take you straight into where you're going to see a lot of the jets. And there is an instruction here that tells you about how Sweden prepared for the third world war and uh, how they were very equipped with a lot of defense and uh, English, but world class too. air force. And this is the part that houses most of the jets, the fighter jets and aircraft. You can see that these are real fighter jets and aircraft. Like it's just, it's just amazing. Um, we saw a lot of these fighter jets. 
This is called Striker Aircraft. So let me take you to the top. Okay. I'm listening. So you're going to tell us what the this striker aircraft does. This is big. I don't think movies are doing justice to how huge these striker jets look. This is huge. Wow. Okay, so what do you have to tell us? Which was designed uh, for striking, but later on was adjusted for uh, a fighter aircraft mm. to fight. So I think that's what I read. <laughs> <laughs> so he did well. the fighter jets are actually so much and the fact that this museum has over 360 <laughs> aircraft in them is incredible. And I also like the fact that there is enough information for people to learn, um, you know, um, a lot about the aircraft and how the Air Force behaves. So at this point, we try to play some games. This is um, a recording booth where you hear the different sounds of different aircraft when they take off. You can press so another one. different aircraft Turn actually out. have they sound different. different sounds of takeoff. So uh, here I was just trying to hear the way they sound and I really enjoyed it. it One of the reasons I really liked the museum and the experience at the Swedish Air Force Museum was the exhibitions and um, the historical facts about things that had happened before. Um, one of my highlights of visiting the museum was the DC-3 aircraft that was shot down in 1952 and it was eventually found in 2003 approximately 51 years later now this aircraft uh, was shot down by probably the enemies attacking and they didn't find this aircraft until after 51 years i saw it with my eyes <laughs> like it was it, it looked so real um the remains of the passengers that were on board that aircraft, their clothes, their shoes, everything, some of the, the artifacts, they are actually in this museum. We saw everything. It is, it is just amazing to see that such things are still kept so that people can understand how life was in those days. It's really beautiful. The museum exhibitions are divided into themes. They are also divided into the different years when things happened. For example, we, um, there is actually a theme that consists of the pioneers in aviation. And this dates from 1910 to 1926. So this section, you would actually see the people that started aviation, how aviation started, you see it in that area. We also have another theme or section that talks about the wars that happened then. And this is from 1926 to 1939. We also have the third theme, which is talking about the Second World War. And this dates from 1939 to 1945. We also have the aviation technology, 1926 to 1939, and then Sweden during the Cold War. So this was actually the last war that Sweden was involved in. Now, a German actually built the Junkers Ju-86 twin-engined 
bomber. The only one left in the world. I saw this jet with my eyes and I'm like, like, you know when you watch movies and you see them fighting and these things actually happened. And honestly speaking, people who are in aviation are really bold people. They are so, so bold. I hope that and I believe that you would enjoy this video. So let's go straight into the vlog where I will be showing you my experience, some of the things that I saw, some of the things that I actually, you know, tried. I tried some games. In fact, it's just, it's historical and it's very educative. That is really why I love this So we wanted vlog. to try this game. Uh, you sit on the chair and you feel how it is to eject out of a plane or a fighter jet. My husband wanted to try this and he had so much fun doing this. Um, I didn't want to try because I saw someone who tried and I think the person was really scared so I didn't I just wanted to have fun but my husband tried it and he really enjoyed it like he 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 was just having so much fun here he loves anything that has to do with adventures and trying out things that are so so different well you sit on the chair and this chair is actually from one of the fighter jets i don't know how they did this but they did it you feel the impact of ejecting out of a chair so this is the game i enjoyed <laughs> oh my god yes i actually feel that this point but i tried again and i did well um here you try to you learn how to fly a plane to take off and I tried several times until I got it right. Yes. When you fall, you stand up. You don't just stay there. So I tried it. I tried it again. And at this point, yes, it worked. I had to start. I started. I started again. Yeah. And then I took off. Can you see that? Yes. Can you see my plane yes. moving? Oh my God. Yes. My plane is moving. <laughs> it was really, really fun. I enjoyed myself learning a lot about aviation, planes and, you know, and jets. It's really, really fun. So at this point, I crashed the plane. <laughs> okay so we moved into this other section of the museum here you have a lot of games and you learn a lot from here um there are a lot of children here who came to play a lot of games so i decided to try this particular game where you pick up um a little mirror for uh you're trying to test your eyes. That is actually the essence of this game. You're testing how clearly you can really see. So you pick up that glass and then you try to look closely. So the essence of the games in this area of the zoo, of the museum, um, is actually to let you know how it was for the pilots in those days the different kind of tests and procedures they go through before they become pilots before they can even fly fighter jets <laughs> at this point i was acting so funny because i was just trying to imagine like so just because you want to fly a fighter jet this is actually what they go through so what we see in the movies th these people really go through a lot of training they really go through a lot of training. This was really fun. The museum is packed with a lot of knowledge. The museum is packed with a lot of jets. They have a lot of exhibitions here. So as you can see the different jets, this is the part where I was I was amazed. I was like, oh my god, look at jets. Look at look at jets. But tell me to go into one of these. I don't know if I will. So here you would play this game where you have to shoot you have to aim for um, a particular object and then when it turns green you try to shoot i really tried in this game i enjoyed it i i, I think my shooting skills are good i can rate myself 
a 7 over 10, which is not bad. Yes. So yeah, I, I got that one. I got that one. <laughs> I also got that one. So it was really, it was really interesting. Um, you know, this is how they teach them to shoot and to aim for the enemies. I didn't get that one. <laughs> so, due to the fact that the museum has been in existence since 1984, the development of the military aviation from the early 20th century is something that you should really look out for. You can actually read about the Air Force Museum and learn so much about it. I really like the fact that it has a lot of cultural history and exhibitions and they have a very big library um, this was just one part of the museum because the other part is being renovated so they still have people come in you know and read about it you look at the photographs you look at the plans relating to aviation and we also saw some missiles too so after i was done hobby wanted to try and he was actually telling me that he was going to do better than me but look at him here I think he he failed how many i think three or so i don't know but i think i i, I would rate myself seven over ten and i'll rate him six over ten <laughs> he kept on asking me what's going on why am i not getting this thing and i was just smiling all through you can see <laughs> he's almost giving up here but as a man you know he has to like show me that yes i can do this he really tried he tried anyway the games were really fun there was also a section where children would um, draw planes they would try to build parts of planes and fighter jets it was an amazing experience it, this museum is packed with a lot a lot of history and knowledge and one of the funny thing about this museum is um the fact that the boeing 707 air force one jet the popular one that we know is also housed in this museum so at this point um i was doing a hearing test so this is um a test that the pilot must undergo before he passes the test to fly a jet i tried it and you have to listen through that um speaker and if you can hear clearly what the person is saying like instructions what the person is saying then you're good to go now this was the game that i did not like at all i did not like this game because i didn't do well in this game i guess the idea of this game is you have to move the throttle and uh and this is actually for like fighter jets when another fighter jet is coming forward coming towards your own fighter jet and you're trying to fight or you're trying to send missiles or fire or something is it called fire i don't know but i know that i did not pass this particular game i did not win in this game and i was wondering what is going on why am i not winning this particular one <laughs> there were instructions but i guess i didn't really get the instructions so i did not pass this particular test and this test is very important if you want to be a pilot for the fighter jets now hobby was like this particular game he's going to do very well he wants to try it out and i was like okay try it try it try it you're having fun so for this particular game you need to know you need to have a knowledge about physics and chemistry so here this is about combustion of the aircraft engine and you need to know how to uh, make sure that the engine is working perfectly it has some instructions and you know I love the idea of the games. It's telling you how these pilots really read hard and study hard and practice before they actually go up in the air. That is just it. This is me playing around while Hobby was playing this game. I was just enjoying myself and at this point I wanted to eat. So this is the game and you have to complete three different parts of this game so 
at this first part this is the fan of the aircraft so you need to make sure that the fan is positioned well the oxygen level the pressure everything is perfect before you can actually fly this aircraft so here hobby is doing his thing he's really telling me i'm getting this thing i'm really gonna get it and honestly i was hoping that yes he's going to get it i know he's going to get it but he was having a lot of fun and i was also learning in the process so here he passed this particular phase and they told him well done now you move on to the next phase which is this part and then he reads the instruction you go through the instruction and here you have to bring in the five rings into that particular section as you can see and then you bring in the rings again and you also bring it in again so the game is just trying to tell you how it is for the aircraft and how the pilots must actually go through different processes before they can actually fly and here it's done it's perfect and they tell him well done and at this point hobby was telling me i'm just too good i can be a pilot and i'm like hello just stick to your it <laughs> okay so now to the next part of the game remember i told you it's three sections you read the instructions and then you play the game and then hobby is just playing the game so i'm just going to give you a little background story about the themes um, and sections in the museum here the swedish air force museum has about five different themes and they have different sections where they show us the way the houses of the soldiers the air force soldiers how they actually lived their lives in those days and they still have those exhibits up till this moment like it's just it's just lovely to see how houses were you know in those days it's 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 just beautiful it's really really nice so obviously hubby got the three sections right and he told me now he's ready to fly a plane and i'm like okay <laughs> all right all right okay it's fine so that is when the plane can actually take off after going through these processes really nice this was my highlight for this vlog the acts of secrecy department consists or houses the popular dc-3 aircraft that was shot down in 1952 and it was eventually found in 2003 approximately 51 years later now because of the story behind this aircraft you can see some of the things that were retrieved see the socks the shirt the vest some newspapers some papers these were actually retrieved from the aircraft because of how um, sensitive this aircraft is this particular section of the museum um, is actually dark so it's just like a form of respect if you can see closely on the screen you would see the aircraft the tires and some of this was actually emotional for me at this point because I'm like this aircraft was shot down and it was missing for 51 years nobody could find the aircraft nobody could find the people on the aircraft and they had a lot of um, information about it it was hit and <laughs> the engine everything the engine and the propellers everything got destroyed so you can see some of the parts of the aircraft over there it's i mean i don't even know the way they found this thing after 51 years and they got a lot of things you can see this is actually the shoe of one of the pilots a lot of things the belt um the wallet everything they actually found this things and they kept them if you come to the museum you're going to see this exactly the way i'm showing it to you and this this is actually some of the parts of the aircraft you can see how destroyed um it's looking and what exactly was um the operation or the mission of this aircraft you know um, what was actually the mission of this aircraft this aircraft was actually used to 
fight um, the enemies with um, I think some airborne infections and it was shut down so I guess I guess it was uh, the aircraft was actually sabotaged yes that's what I would say because the history has a lot of history behind this aircraft so this is what it looks like I mean it's it's not really easy um, I can imagine the people who lost their lives trying to fight for their country but God knows best so the mission was actually used for airborne electronic intelligence and there were you know many advantages with using this particular aircraft so this is what it originally looks like before the impact and they had a lot of artifacts these were some of the things that were retrieved from the aircraft in summary this museum is definitely a 10 over 10 for me four people are still missing till today meaning that about four people have not been found up to today definitely their body has been decomposed and all that but that is life that is life i love vlogs because they are not just educative and entertaining it also keeps you in a relaxed state and relaxation practices or activities are actually very good for your mental health. And that is one of the reasons why I really love vlogs. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Have you been to an Air Force museum before? And tell me some of your highlights for this vlog. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that right now. Also like this video and share to your friends and family. I'll see you in my next video.